Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 10, season 2 of PVMing for Profit. You guys should know the drill by now. If you do enjoy this, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get into some nice PVMing clips. Hey, what's going on, guys? As you can see, I'm here as a tormented demon. I'm gonna get into this because I've already overloaded. Don't wanna waste any time. If you wanna, I've already put a guide up on this. I'll probably link that in the description. And be sure to comment any more bosses you want me to do. If you want me to do more TDs, then put that in the comments as usual. Wish me luck. Hey what's going on guys here in my inventory you can see the loot that I did get from that TD's trip 1 hour of TD's where I managed to get 1 red drop unfortunately it was only the shard which is a mil don't know how much it will sell for but in my inventory you can see it adds up to 1.6 mil and I'm going to be keeping the death runes for my tab I want to have a nice stack of runes in my tab here you can see all the other runes that I got from Exile Kalfa Queen I managed to get 41 kills I already had uh, no sorry that's 39 kills because I already had 4 ashes in the bank so what I'm gonna do now is just sell all of this shit and then I'll get back to you with the total how much it sold for hey what's going on guys in my inventory you can see I did make 1.24 mil unfortunately the shard didn't sell for its G value so for 700k so all of this is gonna go straight into the drops tab and that takes the coin value up to 171 mil getting closer to that vertus yeah baby Hey what's going on guys and my interface is all fucked up I just realised but yeah I am here outside the Zamorak boss room there we got that sorted I'm outside the Zamorak boss room and I'm going to be killing Zamorak for one hour I've got the 40 KC and I am also on a slayer attack let's see how many kills I have left 169 <laughs> 69 that's funny because um fuck it um anyway I'm going to be killing Zamorak for about an hour this trip and I'm gonna be coming back to him later obviously I want to finish off this layer task but I don't want to get it all done in one go just because that would be quite boring for you to watch cause the clips of Zami so I'm gonna be doing Zamorak and splitting up this play slayer task over the series I'm already 99 I just did it for the shits and giggles and for points I'm trying to get a mighty slayer helmet because I do believe it's one of the best hybrid helmets in the game but this clip is almost 50 seconds and it's just an introduction so let's get this shit started and 48 KC in, we've got the first nice troll drop right here, which is a God Sword Shard 3, worth um, 153k. They always concert around 150k, all the shards are, but it's a nice little troll drop. So I'm just going to carry on fucking shit up, and hopefully I won't have to teleport because I'm running out of prayer. Sharpish. Second troll drop comes 84 KC in, being a Dragon Dagger, which is worth only 16k. It's kind of the same as it was pre EOC, but meh, troll drops not for the win and the troll drops continue with the nice beam of light and obviously it's not going to be a nice drop worth over a mil it has to be an ancient effigy because lol that's the reasoning the reasoning is lol so what i'm going to do now is hopefully try and kill these kids um that call themselves minions but they fucking shit out of life i just raped them in the face watch this just just go home mate Oh my god, that's the worst assault ever, and I still murdered him in the face, so I'm going to quickly pick up all of this loot, make this clip way too long, for no apparent reason, other than the fact that I can, and I want to open this effigy, see if I can actually do it, with my skills, um, I'm not, I haven't got shit skills, but I'm not even 90 plus all yet, so there's my skills, let's see if I can open the effigy, first one is that, and that's the only one I can't open, so fuck. Hey what's going on guys and I'm here at the GE for once I did manage to get around 120 KC for that Zamorak trip and what I'm going to be doing is not selling it yet I'm hopefully going to be keeping all the loot from Zamorak until I finish his task I need to find out how many kills I have left let's just get a slayer home and I also have 123 ashes I had 3 ashes in there before um what the fuck do I do oh, I'll do this and then kills left 111 more Zamorak uh, I mean, what time am I talking about? Greater Demons, because I think two of the three minions count as Greater Demons. One of them counts, counts as the lesser. So each kill I'm getting three kills towards my Slayer assignment. And that makes sense. So as soon as I finish uh, this Slayer task, I'll be selling the loot. But for now, I'm going to be doing another boss. Hey what's going on guys, as you can see I'm here back where I do enjoy quite a bit of nice luck which is Glacos. Got 59 shards of armadillo once in the bank as a bank spacer. So hopefully I can get to around 65, hopefully 70 within this one hour. I probably will do more than an hour just because I feel like chillaxing, not doing anything too hardcore. Glaco is really interesting, really fun and not too demanding. So let's just get this started and get some drops. 
Hey, what is going on, guys? Here in my inventory, you can see the loot that I did get from about two hours of clay cores. And in total, right now, I'm just going to quickly show you guys. I do have 77 shards of armadillo, which is quite a bit. And hopefully, I will be doing a couple more trips trying to finish it off ASAP. But in two hours, I did get, let me do some quick math 12. I had 19 shards in about two hours. And let's see how much money I made from the drops. I made 1.7 mil, which is actually quite a bit. It's only around uh 850k 870k per hour because i did i have been doing this for about two hours now but the charms are actually amazing 166 blues 157 crimsons and 37 greens i use the charming game to collect all that shit and what do i have in here loads of potato with butter which is like some really that's actually a really good tip right now it's really cheap food that you get from the ascension creatures and they heal 780 i've got just a load of it in my bank from loaded drops from the ascension creatures potato with butter so i just use that instead of sharks when i don't really need a lot of, a lot of healing such as bosses like glycos and oh, i think i might be done for now with for with what what's the right word um i think i'm done for now with glycos yes with is the right word with glycos so i'll probably be moving on to another boss and i don't know what that is right now but you'll be finding out in the next clip so instead of showing you another boss i'm really quickly going to show you me setting the glycos loot and that blue pot here obviously is the placeholder for the cash that i have that's not in this series so what i'm doing right now is selling the loot as you can clearly see i was doing it quite slow so i had to speed it up i was just failing at clicking with this amazing dps mouth i just need to get used to it a bit so yeah just still selling the fucking loot and there's three more things left to sell and oh, hurry up and sell it man what the hell should have sped it up a bit more but then you want to be able to see it properly and as you can see the total does come out to how much is that 1.588 mil which is quite nice from a couple of hours of glycos i think it was two hours as i said so that's going to be it for this episode guys if you did enjoy again be sure to comment rate and subscribe comment any bosses you might want me to do any guides any video ideas anything you want, might want me to discuss any changes to the series and yeah that's it so if you did enjoy again be sure to comment rate and subscribe as i say every single video and please do that because it really does help me out peace yeah.